there we go and then two of these oh this can make ammo as well can't it the, the ammo the armor piercing one though I don't think we have that yet maybe okay some chests this one will make big electric poles this one will make medium we need to extend the belt a bit more and then power it and such there we go we'll put some limits on the chests oops missed excellent and they're being produced nice and fast hoovering up all of the copper that could be a problem Though once the the chest is filled up, it should calm down. But yeah, we have some big electric poles now, so we'll get five of them. That's that's a nice number. We'll start building them around the place. Good place to start would be right by these steam engines. Whereabouts? Thing is, I could put another steam column here now because the reason I didn't before was the science, and it's gone. So I could actually extend and do even more. Um, steam engine stuff and it considering how far away the biters appear to be at this point maybe I should just do that so yeah um, let's put the power pole over here that's a good idea and then we'll start extending it out towards the the main production line and it can just go along here except the stuff in the way here so it'll move up a bit down a bit even where is it? There we go, it's connected. Now I can't see the, the wire because it's above the copper. But you can use the, the position of the actual pylon, I think, to tell. Can't No, you can't, that's not connected. Now it's connected. And this one there. And oh, we've run out, but we're almost down to the production line now, so there should be a few more and we can extend that down there and then onwards to the radar that's just sat, sat out in the wilderness not doing anything there we go 11 of them that's going to be enough because we're never going to use the medium ones except for very rare occurrences like um, um, advanced circuit production I use the the medium poles for that so yeah um, that one there and then just follow this line into the distance there we go and there and where is the radar it's up there so we'll go along some more and then we'll go up I can't quite reach we'll just use a basic pole for this last bit and there we go so we've got more places to scan so it'll start scanning here now and extend our view a little bit more now how's the power supply with that operating worse but still not too terrible let's look at the hour long because that's the limit of our power there I think it might be lower than that because the power system can produce like for a short amount of time the the steam engines can make more than otherwise I think is how it works I'm not really sure the, the systems I use where I use the the ratio of four boilers to five no five boilers to four engines even it looks like this the, the science is being provided nice and quick now so we might just put some more labs in get things moving quicker the, what we really need to do is work on oil production. I don't know if I'll get this done this episode, but it should be started at least in next episode. Right, some more science labs here. I would like um, a few more if possible. Four of them. It's going to take a bit to make them. Why is it used conveyor belts to make it? It's, maybe it has some inside, and it, like the idea is that these are the internals and stuff. And here it comes. Okay, and then we can go back down to the main line. It's getting dark. We can have another session of putting lights up everywhere. But yeah, we can put all these down, get them all connected and so on and so forth. There we go. Uh, like that. And that and power. Awesome. All of the science. And the system should be able to keep up, I imagine. We'll find out in a, in a few minutes, I guess. 
We should get steel going down here, actually, seeing as we do have it. It's just sort of... It's being made. Not doing much, though. We're going to run out of belts, aren't we? Yep. Okay, I'll go grab some more. Oh, it looks like... Yeah, this stuff is just hoovering up copper like there's no tomorrow. That's no good. Right, what did I come for? Oh yeah, I came for more belts. Lots of them. We'll get some more underground as well. Get 30 of them this time, because I keep running out. Need some more splitters as well. Again, I can't wait for logistics. Oh, I saw power dip then. Is it going again? Because I did... Oh, yeah, all the in, all the assemblers have just kicked up and started because I've got that moving, which has pushed the, the power system over the edge. So, yes, we do need some more steam engines, and I think I will do that very shortly. Um, and we need to carry on extending this. Now, here's the thing. We don't want copper to be going on this belt, so... Hmm... Slightly problematic. We'll get some smart inserters. Oh, nearly crafted them. I've got stuff in my inventory. No, I need to not have stuff. Right, you have that. And you have that. I mustn't have it. You have these circuits as well. I don't know why I've got all those. Right, and let's get two smart inserters. And they will steal the steel. Actually, we'll, we'll not do that. We'll just get them off the belt, same places as the other two. Right. Oh, and we need the evening out system, which means we need to shift this up one. Just do that. I'm very proud of coming up with this. I'm sure many other people have done it, but I came up with it independently, so it's my thing. Right, you get steel and you get steel there we go so that should keep the supply up nicely so the the belt will build up now at the moment we don't need steel for anything but we will shortly when we start doing blue science which is something we also need to work on uh, although we need to do oil before we do that there we go plastics next we'll do sulfur i think what else do we have in terms of options we might get the piercing rounds because they're nice and fun how much science? It only uses like 20. Yeah, we'll go for that because it'll be done in like two minutes. Right, so let's sort out some more power. That's the thing we can do. I'm going to have to set up the systems again, like before. And I think I'll start with just with just five or something. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it like that. Okay, um, let's look at what we need. We'll not craft it though. Mustn't craft. Um, so yeah, steam engines need pipes. We need 20 pipes, 25 pipes, 26, and uh, 36 for the underground belt. So a bunch of bits and bobs we need. There we go, that's done. And sulfur. So 36 pipes, I think, was the number I came up with. Oh, there's, uh, I forgot the underground pipes, which they have them being made. So yeah, we'll just grab that. Um, so then we only need 26 of these. So that should be fine. And then we need to set up some assemblers and, and such like. Okay, you make me some boilers. So we need five furnaces. It's good, I'm getting rid of all of these. And then five pipes. There we go, so now switch to steam engines. So we want four of them, so we need all but one of these pipes. What's that? Oh, that's for the pump, isn't it? So now we need some gears and plates. Where can I steal plates from? This, I'm just going to have to hoover them up off the belt. That should be enough. Are there any spare gears in here? Yes, there are. Excellent. And we'll put all that in. That should craft me four. Perfect. We'll grab all this back and put it back where it, I got it from. Um, and we need to make the pump. 
The pump uses a pipe, an iron gear, and a circuit. I'll take the one gear then. Is it two circuits? I think it was two. Right, make me a pump. Yeah, it's two circuits. We'll put those things in. And two of these. Did I get two then? I don't think... No, I only got one. I'm just... Stupid thing. Give me a circuit. There we go. Boom. Pump. Right. Ah, we might need another underground belt. We can just get those, though, so that's not too much of a problem. We also need a few more... Um... Oh, I just realised this coal has run out. Right, let's get rid of this mining drill. And rebuild it up here. We might need another one, actually, considering our increased power consumption. I'm just going to keep things lined up here. I'm not going to mess about with that. If I can keep it like nice and, and straight lined, then I will do that. Um, let's move all this stuff about, actually. Put that there. Put those, th the I pronounced it a bit weird. That put those, those is the word that I was looking for. And let's just even this out as well, because it's it's all zigzagging everywhere. That's no good. Let's clear away this old bit. There we go. Four mining drills going. That should be more than enough. This light needs to move somewhere. That'll be fine. So, we can get rid of this, I think. Does that connect anything to anything? Nope. Nothing's flashing anyway, so I can assume that it's all fine. Oh, that, that light's shut down, but who cares? It's a light. We'll put it there. Why not? So we need a couple of burner mining drills. Oh, we don't even have those being made, actually. I probably should have set that up, thinking about it, but then it, it is a, a bit of a niche thing. I'm not going to use them often. Okay, then you need to make me... Burner mining drills. Uses gears and plates, one of each. What do I have available? None, which is good, because I don't want to have random bits and bobs on me. Oh, I only need three, don't I? Because I have th two just in the hot bar for whatever reason. Let's just grab a couple of them. One, two, three. And then we'll go put that in there. And there we go, three burner inserters. And we'll do that. Well, actually, this is in the way for things. Okay, then we're going to have to shift it up one. That's annoying. Okay, do that. And then we can start clearing this away. But now there's a ton of coal just sort of sat around. Let's put the boilers in and get them being filled up. That'll help. Okay. Go, boilers, go. The... Uh, Whatever burner mining drills doesn't have so much of a ring to it. And we can connect this up to here. That's. Where does it go to? It goes to there, apparently. That's weird. It, it could go one more, but it didn't. Why? Mm. I'll, I'll, I'd have to look back at old footage to work that out, and I can't be bothered. There we go. So that's 12 steam engines now operational ish. Well, we haven't got the water going in yet, but we're working on that. Okay, we can clear this away now. Oh, the pump's in the way. Move. Right, so we need to work out where to put the pump. Can it even attach anywhere now? That was the one last place. Brilliant. It's going to have to go down here. That's no good. We need a ton of pipes now. Oh, I still have five. Where did these five come from? That's confusing. What maths did I get wrong? Or did I make some? I could have made some. You need to tell me these things, don't forget. Okay, we just need... Oh, we need two, actually, because otherwise we can't, we're just going to go underground and not back again. And we'll see how that works out. Okay, and then that wants to go not quite to the end. And then like this. We need one more pipe. And then we will sort out all, any and all power problems. For now, anyway, until I've increased the the power usage even more. Right. And go. And the steam engines are operational. So if I check the power levels now, 
Um, it's not changed because at the moment we're not using up so much power. What's changed this time? Um, it looks like mining drills have shut down a little bit. Wonder why. Oop, sulfur processing is done. Okay. Um, batteries, I suppose, because we do need those for future stuff. So yeah, there we go, batteries. And then, I don't know, what, what to work on now, because we've done that power thing. Yeah, it looks like copper's running fine. Oh, steel, actually. Steel's run out. Probably because it's all been sent down there, but we should still work on it, because it, it, it'll need a couple more. We've only got one furnace working on it right now. We should probably have at least two. Um, so let's... We need to get a furnace first. Oh, this one on the end is not doing anything. Where's its inserter gone? Did I deconstruct that or something? Oh, there you go. Oh, the iron's built up anyway, so yeah, that's going to be fine. Right. So, steel furnace. And go into there. And this one needs unloading somewhere. We need to mess with this system now. We'll just replace it with belts. It'll be fine. Oh. There we go. We need to fuel this. And this one as well. Which leaves us with basically nothing in terms of coal. Everything else has got its sort of self-fueling systems though, so that's fine. We can go and grab some from the chest. This is built up nicely, so that's good. We just hop down here. This is sort of buried now, but whatever. We'll get three stacks because we need to check up on copper again. That's half empty, just about. There we go. Right, what else do we need to do? Oh, we've got some steel on us. L let's do that. And then we maybe chop down some trees, things like that. That was a very, very weird way of saying trees there. Okay, um, ooh, there's a tree. Let's get that one. Oh, there's a few trees, because we're on the edge of a forest here. Now let's check the radar, actually. Okay, we haven't spotted any more... Well, any more any biter bases at all so far. They're definitely here. I definitely made the setting so they were here. I think that was in the first video I showed the setup I was using. Which was all wimpy and easy, because we're on, like, the, the largest size of starting area and things like that. I don't know how, that, how big that is, whether it's, like, the width of like a, a radar radius or something. I need to chop down lots of trees so I can get rid of these um, these outmoded pickaxes and get the nice new steel ones. Because whenever I have some sort of old type of pickaxe, I have to use that up before I start using the new one. It's the same thing in Minecraft. I have to finish using the wooden pick before I start using the stone one. And I just have to deal with that. There's a couple of other random trees around. I suppose we should clear these ones around here away because they, they basically have no contribution to stopping pollution and they just sort of... They'll get in the way one day when I'm expanding something. Oh, there go batteries. We're really motoring through the science now. What else do we need? Oh, advanced electronics. We want to get that done because then we can do solar panels and then we can have solar panels. There's a couple of stray trees over here. There we go. That'll do, probably. Well, there's no particular reason to do it, I, apart from I wanted to fill this. So there we go, we can have all of the wood and get on with making more chests and more electric poles and things like that. Though it looks like it's pretty much finished, and actually we have some electric poles here which are now um, totally irrelevant, so I think I'll actually run along and get rid of these now. Because they're just a waste of, of space and materials and such. We just get rid of these all the way. Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Mess that up, of course. There we go. Operational. Oh, this this side isn't everything is dead. There we go. It's all fine. And it looks like the the assemblers are keeping up with science production. So technically, eh, technically I could add more um, science labs, but at the rate we're going through science right now, we're, we're probably going to run out of red and green science before we get to making blue science. Oh, right, let's extend these along a bit. And it looks like we're pretty much at the end now, actually. So yeah, I'll just do this. Oh, and there goes advanced electronics. That was quick. Um, where's solar panels? There they are. Okay, start working on those. You'll be done in them in like two minutes. Oh, we're out of belts. Well then, let's go back home. I forgot to put lights here. You cannot see a thing of that base. This is all nice and bright, though. 
Um, but anyway, it is time for the end. I like the endings in these because I can go at a leisurely pace. With the um, with Rail World, I have a time limit. I have until the <laughs> recording finishes. But yeah, so that was good progress. I think next time we will work on oil and stuff like that. Um, try and get work towards getting Blue Science operational. Um, so yeah. Until then, I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.